And outside you can see uh, the Manila Bay, uh, the Rojas Boulevard, and very tall uh, buildings just outside. And also I can see the, um, I think this is Mabini Street, Mabini, Mabini Road. I think so, I'm not so sure though. You are watching Jancy's Corner. Hi guys, welcome to our channel and this is Claire. Uh, today I am going to review a Red Planet Hotel here in Manila, Philippines. So this is my, uh, I would say, seventh day staying here uh, after a five-day quarantine. Uh, I have extended one day because I have to wait for the uh, PCR test results. So uh, that's why instead of, you know, uh, five nights, I stayed six nights, which is equivalent to seven days actually. So. I just would like to review the experiences that I had here and also to give you an idea uh, and what to expect uh, when you're going to stay here. So uh, when I search uh, in the internet, so before you go home in the Philippines, if you're abroad, you have to search for your hotel before going home. Um, this is just to make sure that uh, you have a smooth flow of travel uh, coming to Philippines. So I have a uh, search in the uh, internet in one of the booking agency online and I found the Red Planet and of all the hotels that I have been searching, um, it is one of the familiar uh, place uh, in, which is the Mambini and the hotel is uh, that's where it is and I have decided to book that um, aside from the place also the price was affordable so I think it was only like 27 euro but the only thing with that is uh, it, meals are not included so they have um, free Wi-Fi which is really a very good um, and you know a space that you can uh, use while staying for quarantine uh, so when i came uh, here to philippines uh, i go straight here and have check in um, so far the the experience was okay uh, i was accommodated by the reception and explain things what to expect so the things that i have found out is of course because you're on a quarantine uh, it is expected that uh, you're not allowed to go outside after once you have entered to your room. Um, but beforehand, they give you a chance to, uh, you know, uh, buy things. There is a uh, store just inside the facility that you can buy things that you need, which is good for, you know, the five days quarantine that you you needed, and then. Also, there are money changers just on the adjacent building that uh, they have suggested if you like to exchange money, so you can do that while you are in the reception uh, and you haven't come yet to your room. So I did all those things. You have to find out what they are, what the things that you need, okay? Um, also, they said that uh, because the food is not included in the package I, I took, um, they said uh, you can order food. Obviously, it's more or less a Filipino food uh, being served. You can order it uh, one day ahead of time. And, and then when, they, when I asked if they got menu of the foods, uh, the only thing is they can't provide it. So they said it will just be served to you. So I think that's one thing that you have to consider if, you know, uh, just find out <laughs> if you're not familiar with the food. But other than that, there is also an attached, um, um, I don't know if it is Chinese or Thai, Thai restaurant, but it's just like an Asian restaurant attached to the building as well. And they give you the number and the menus. Uh, so you, that's one of the option if you want to uh, buy food. One important thing that uh, I have to point out also is to don't allow other restaurants or fast food chain to deliver to your room. So 
only this uh, Asian store attached to them are allowed to go inside and deliver it to your room. So just bear that in mind as well. Um, what else? They also mentioned to me that, you know, the changing of the bed sheets, pillows, pillowcases and everything like that um, will be done only after three days of staying. And also, with the guy, they didn't mention to me initially about you know the how the, how the trash are being disposed or everything, but I just later found out that you can put your trash outside the door, and it will be collected between I think 10 and 4 something specific time. So you need to also ask uh, about all those things. Um, what else? Well, I would say that the the room, uh, once we come up, it's all good. It's all clean and tidy. And I'm going to show it to you later. Oh, one more thing. Um, of course, the staff are very accommodated. Um, actually, I have experience. I don't know why it happens. It might be because, you know, everything just so quick. Uh, I left my phone in the taxi. Luckily, I... I uh, got the taxi's number and you know the uh, the porter have helped me to contact the the taxi driver and at his own expense but at, I said I was going to pay back so I did anyway um, and he was very accommodating they're all good stuff are good um, yeah and I was happy that my phone was back uh, after that and then anyway after I have sorted myself, I uh, bought the things that I, uh, I need. Uh, you just make sure you have your shampoo because they have a uh, three-in-one uh, gel provided. That could be a shampoo, conditioner, or shower gel in the in the toilet, which is good for three days. But if you like a specific shampoo or soap, you have to buy it. Uh, that's one thing because I forgot to buy so but anyway they have gel so it's okay I managed to survive uh, the I, I bought the water which is good for four days and then the later date I just buy it from the from the restaurant uh, tissues they only provide one tissue here so I think on my third fourth day it's almost gone so luckily I bought a tissue toothpaste they don't provide toothpaste um, what else yeah all those things so it's like a basic uh, thing that you need uh, in the toilet um, yeah so I think that's all things once I came here it was all smooth and okay the room was you know just enough I think it's it's tiny but it's okay I, I, I don't uh, complain about it it was clean and tidy um, the only thing I think here in the room is, you know, the dryer, hair dryer, it's a bit uh, faulty, so uh, I just make the most of it. <laughs> oh, I forgot one thing. If you don't have comb, you buy comb. Because I forgot comb, so I just use my, my finger, right? Like a, not too bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Aside from that, the water system is okay. Uh, it has a hot uh, hot water system during a shower which is very good um, towels were okay yeah everything is fine after that uh, they communi communicate with the uh, with the customers through their apps so, so I'll show you later how the system is and yeah they at, at the end day um, you know, the you should book your PCR test uh, on your fifth day. Well, it's automatic, I think, from the from the airport. And but make sure I would suggest that the laboratory that you have booked um, previously, you should know their ratings and you should know their feedbacks because they are quite hard to contact and. Yeah, just find the, the testing center that uh, communication is better because it's quite important. 
The testing center that I had, uh, you know, their communication is quite hard, really. They didn't confirm what day they're coming and you're obviously you're anxious whether it will be done or not. And uh, but anyway, they, they come on, on the right day, but it's just, you know, it gives you a little bit of anxiousness whether they're coming or not. So that's one thing that you have to, to know. So you can just Google and uh, see the reviews as well before booking for your testing center here in the Philippines. So once I received the result, I have communicated it to the front desk and they asked me uh, to screen screen record it or screen photo it and then send it to them uh, so far communication wise they answer all the questions but sometimes it takes a bit of time uh, because probably the the receptions are also busy entertaining other customers downstairs or something like that but so far they you know they uh, answered all the questions and they have also a uh, a link to call the reception desk but it's not working so it's more on chat uh, what else I would say uh, oh yeah one more thing um, since I have a negative result I asked them whether uh, I can go out because I'm already negative but they said you can't go out unless you are going to check out so just bear that in mind guys that uh, even though you have a negative test, you cannot go out from the hotel and back again. So you just need to completely check out yourself, um, you know, and that's it. And now I am going to uh, show you the, the room that I have uh, so that you have an idea how the uh, single room is uh, with a double bed. And yeah, for me, I would probably rate this as 8 out of 10 um, mainly because probably one is the the, <laughs> the hair dryer oh. and what else uh, also probably is you know the list of menu they should uh, provide the list of menu so that people got an option oh. um, and have idea what they can order mm. Pretty much, it's all good. Probably eight to nine, I would say. Uh, Price-wise, it's affordable. But if you're gonna total your your expenses with the food, it might go a bit higher actually uh, compared to the others who, who is already included. <laughs> so you just need to uh, bear that in mind. You know, they look they look cheaper, but if you add the expenses for the food, they will be like the same with the other. Uh, hotels with the food you know uh, so that's it guys so uh, check this out and look um, if, it, if you're happy with the size of the of the single uh, bed single a uh, single room with a double bed uh, but for me it's all okay So ngayon guys, I'm going to show you the room that uh, I stayed here in Red Planet, Manila, in Mabini, uh, where I was quarantined for five days or six, six days, I would say. Um, so I'll show you around. So I'm here in the corridor outside my room. Uh, this is how it looks like around my room. And let's go. So this is the entrance and this is the toilet. Malit lang siya guys. Pero comfortable naman so far. May konting ikutan. So it's a double bedroom. And meron siyang salamin. Hi! So meron siyang uh, foldable table on the sides. And one... Uh, bedside table mayroon siyang two bedside lamp yung computer akin yan guys and they have also a uh, uh, what you call this a safety box uh, so mayroon siyang TV 
At saka, yun, may sampayan. So, th this is where I put my stuff here. May konting space lang here. And outside, you can see uh, the Manila Bay. And the Rojas Boulevard. And very tall uh, buildings just outside. And also, I can see the, um, I think this is Mabini Street. Mabini Road. I think so. I'm not so sure though. So there you are. So this is how my my room is. From here, from the window, you can see the inside. So I'm going to mirror there at the end. So far comfortable naman. And it's very affordable. I only paid like 27 euro. Uh, per night, but uh, the meals are not included. So, mayroon din siyang aircon and ceiling fan if you need an extra cooler. Yung room key nila, in order to use all the, you know, the electronics here inside the room, you have to insert the the key. Okay, and this is their main light switch. Now let's go inside the bathroom. We'll just switch inside. And so everything looks uh, clean and tidy when I came in. So, what they only provided is the soap. Uh, you have to buy all other accessories like shampoos, toothpaste, and you know the other stuff that you need so everything looks clean they only uh, change the beddings and you know this uh, format every after three days of staying so they have also a post here wherein you can use manually uh, in order to clean your you know your bath use the toilet um, yeah, so everything is okay. I, I, I'm happy because it looks clean and it has a big mirror where you can uh, see yourself while you're doing things in the bathroom. And they have these promotional uh, posters, you can see the walls. Uh, they use apps nowadays to communicate. Uh, they don't have telephone inside the room and you can also see it here on the top of the te television uh, you have to download the apps the Wi-Fi is free so you can access the Wi-Fi uh, uh, anytime as long as uh, you have the uh, the hotel number and the password that they have given to you much 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 later so this is my third day uh, in a quarantine period here in Manila and I am having my breakfast um, this is my first time to video here in the hotel doing a breakfast because uh, last few days parang I'm still having jet lag I'm not in the mood to do videos so I have ordered a tapsilog not tapsilog Tosilog actually, it's Tosino. And I just want to show it to you. There you are, this is my breakfast. And I haven't uh, had it before. I mean, I haven't had it for a long time. And I'm so excited to have it. Samahan niyo po ako sa pagkain. Kain po tayo. And uh, as I've said, I haven't uh, had for a long time the Tosino. So, I'm pretty excited. I have also a tomato. Looks like a cherry tomato. So, that ng in order ko po, including the coffee, is around 220.
Yung lasa ng tung sino na matamis tamis plus the tomato a little bit sour. It's perfect combination. Mm. Tapos sa mahan yun ng kape. Mm. Yung kafe, madaling lumamig kasi naka aircon. Kaya dapat you have to consume it uh, the sooner if possible. Nakakamiss din kumain ng mga tosilog, so mabilis ko siyang naubos. One eternity later. It's quarter to four, pero this is my lunch. I'm having my lunch, and uh, I have ordered a uh, bamboo with shredded pork, a spicy uh, menu, and I have also ordered a century egg. I think this is my first time to try it. Pero uh, I expected it to be salty, pero hindi pala siya salty. So it's uh, creamy siya. Tapos uh, uh, dark colored yung uh, white egg. So I'll show you. Ito yung in order kong bamboo shoot uh, with uh, a spicy bamboo shoot with uh, shredded pork. At ito yung century egg na tinatawag nila. So, you're gonna have a look. Para siyang transparent black. Luminous. Akala ko maalat siya. But actually, it's not. Pag uh, sinama mo siya sa bamboo shoot at saka sa kanin, it tastes so creamy. So, kain tayo guys. Kain. Yung serving ng, ng main menu nila is a big portion actually for one person. So it can be uh, good for two person. So kailangan malakas lang kumain kung mag-isa ka lang. guys you find this video helpful so please don't forget to subscribe in our youtube channel and we'll see you guys next time bye